how to boost your fertility, even if you haven't had a period for more than five months or even five years. So today I'm going to share three tips that are really going to help you to support your fertility. And for all of you that don't know me, my name is Claudia Vidor. I'm a nutrition and dietetic clinician. I work with specifically with women that suffer from infertility, hypothalamic amenorrhea, disorder behaviors around food and training. And I am the founder of the Period Comeback Protocol. So what are those three tips that can really boost your chances of having a baby, even though you've been suffering from missing periods or irregular periods and hypothalamic amenorrhea for, the, uh, for many, many years? So the first step is to really look at your lifestyle, the way that you nourish yourself, the way that you train and the way that you work, the way, the way that you set boundaries and that you... Um, you expose yourself to the environment and to people and how you protect your energy or not. And that's an invitation for you to really to start acting as if you are pregnant already. That's something that I've already covered in details in many of my other videos, but it's really important for you to start focusing on the life that you want to have instead of powering through the life that you have right now um, hoping for a different results down the line. So let's say that you want to get pregnant, start acting as if you were pregnant. And what does that mean for you? It means to really sleep in whenever you feel uh, sick or whenever you feel that whenever you don't have that much energy or whenever you had a late night, for example, at work or with your friends. It also means reconsidering um, your choices in terms of training. It could also mean to nourish yourself up properly throughout the days by allowing yourself to have multiple snacks and not only having snacks and meals, but also welcoming the different type of macronutrients and micronutrients. Also, if you're pregnant, you will most likely go to a doctor, get yourself checked and get some results just to find out about your, your general health. And that's something that I normally recommend women to do whenever they are committed and serious in terms of getting their period back and also getting pregnant. And that's one of the main topic of conversations within the Period Comeback Protocol and the HA community and my individualized one-on-one -on -one sessions. If we want to have a baby, if you want to boost your chances of having a baby even though you don't have a, a cycle at the moment it's really fundamental to get to the root cause and find out how we can tap into the parasympathetic system instead of being in the fight and flight mode for most of the time second step is definitely all about boosting your progesterone if you haven't had a period chances are that your progesterone is uh, practically non-existent how do we have uh, progesterone? How do we make progesterone? It happens only once we ovulate and the corpus luteum starts to break down. So if you haven't had a menstruation for a long, for an extended period of time, and if your cycles have been non-existent or anovulatory, chances are that you're not producing enough progesterone. And even if you get a cycle and you notice that your luteal phase, which is the phase between ovulation and menstruation, in less than nine days, I highly recommend you to wait for another period before trying to get pregnant. Progesterone is very important for many different reasons. And two of the main ones are to thicken the endometrium lining. So then it can shed later on to create a period. And also to create that beautiful cocoon where the embryo can, um, can grow and, uh, um, and can eventually become a baby. If you don't have enough progesterone, your endometrium lining is not going to be able to grow uh, optimally, which means that you have you have less chances of getting pregnant, less chances of having a period, and if you do get pregnant, you have higher chances of um, um, of having a miscarriage. And at this point in time, I also would like to say that most of the miscarriages are based on genetics, so there is the genetic abnormality within the embryo. And it's not the fault of the woman, it's not the fault of the mother. And I, it's something that I really would like to say from the get-go, because if you experience a miscarriage in the past, and uh, that's one of the most awful experiences that a woman can go through, please let me clear the air. It is not your fault. Even if you're exercising, if you even if you are undernourishing yourself, um, most of the miscarriages are due to genetic abnormalities. Yet, there are still a few things that we can do 
to optimize your chances of having a safe and healthy pregnancy. Step number three is to learn how to track, to learn how to become your own private investigator. Once again, this is one of the main topic of conversation in the period comeback protocols and on my one-on-one -on -one sessions with the clients that join the comeback the period comeback protocol. Simply because um, I get lots of women that come to me feeling very frustrated because they don't see changes on paper, they don't see changes um, on the LH strips. And most of the time, it's all about learning how to use those tools and learning how to translate them. There are so many resources that we can use in terms of tracking what your body is, what our body is doing. So one is definitely the basal body temperature. One is the LH rise. Um, another one is the cervical mucus. And uh, the fourth one is also to see where the cervix is sitting, um, depending on the time of the month. Having said that, even though these four tools sound very simple, they can be quite frustrating and challenging when you don't know exactly how to use them. And they can give you lots of false positive or false negative if you're using them in the wrong way. So just to sum it up, there are three things that I invite you to do if you want to get pregnant and if you want to boost your fertility and you haven't had a period or you just had one period and you're expecting the second one or you're trying for a baby. So the first one is to um, treat yourself as if you're pregnant already. Look at your lifestyle, look at your um, your diet, look at your exercise routine and change uh, make the changes accordingly to where you want to go in the future instead of doing exactly what you're doing now expecting for a different result secondly just make sure that you boost the progesterone level there are so many ways that you we you can do that one is definitely to tap into the parasympathetic nervous system which is the rest and digest but there are also specific foods and supplements that can help you to boost that natural level of progesterone because it's very much needed if you want healthy cycle and uh, healthy pregnancies and step number three is also learning how to use all the tools uh, that are accessible to you in the correct way just to avoid the frustration, exhaustion, or even to avoid waiting for too many months or even years before being able to get pregnant. Um, as I said before, these are all the things that we talk about in the period come back protocol and in the HA community. So if you're really interested in getting your period back and increasing your chances of getting pregnant before the end of the year, I highly recommend you to get in touch with me, book a free call. That's your chance. That's your opportunity to talk to me, to see if I'm the right fit for you and if you are the right fit for the, for the protocol. So then we can move forward together and just make sure that we set some goals and that you're going to be able to achieve by the end of the year. Thank you for listening and I see you next time. Bye for now.